Hi, my name is Robert. Um, I'm coming to you from Switzerland and DAZA asked me to prepare an overview of the EU's General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, that goes live on May 25th. Uh, GDPR was created to protect the fundamental rights and freedoms of natural persons, in particular their right to the protection of personal data. Uh, while GDPR only explicitly protects EU residents, um, every organization uh, collecting data in the EU will be expected to comply, and so the impact is really quite broad. Um, we can think of GDPR's effects in two primary categories. On the one hand, the rights it grants to the owners of personal data, known as data subjects, and on the other hand, the new requirements uh, fa uh, for those entities collecting and processing personal data. Um, every EU resident will be granted uh, rights that effectively increase their ownership over personal data. These rights includes, include things like um, accessing, amending, and erasing personal data, having the right to portability, which means having data stored in a machine-readable format, um, not being subjected to automated decision-making. This uh, includes hiring practices, but also uh, the content people are shown, and having the ability to lodge a complaint and receive judicial remedy, which we'll get to at the end. Um, in order to collect personal data, consent is generally going to be required, and this consent takes a particular form. It must be for a specific purpose, and any data collection must be limited to that purpose. Um, it must be requested in plain language, it must be easy, easy to withdraw and given freely, and it must lay out the nature, scope, and purpose of processing, um, as well as the data subject's rights. Entities working with personal data will be expected to provide data protection by design and by default. This means things like securing data appropriately and communicating breaches both to data subjects and to regulators, but also doing things like impact assessments before collecting data, keeping a record of processing activities, and nominating a data protection officer. Um, if an entity is located outside of the EU, they'll be expected to nominate an EU representative. In order to enforce GDPR, and also in order to provide guidance, um, <clears throat> supervisory authorities will be uh, created in each member state of the EU and they'll be responsible for um, providing expertise, for providing uh, codes of uh, conduct, best practices, and so on, but also for levying fines. Uh, the fines are set at a maximum of 24 million US dollars, or 4% of the violator's global total turnover, whichever number is highest. Um, I'd be happy to take questions, uh, either by email, or uh, I should be calling into this uh, meeting, and um, I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity uh, to speak to you. I hope it was helpful. Thanks.